We're Jason and Katie. We're making this video from our remote island home in the South Pacific. Today, we're here to tell you to learn to scuba dive before it's too late. Lately, I've been feeling a lot of worry or fear for the consequences of climate change, what the future holds for our coral reefs and for our planet. I recently learned that what I'm actually feeling is climate anxiety. I've been diving deeper into the science of the climate crisis to give myself a better understanding of just how little time is actually left to make significant change. And I'm not just talking about making a change to a metal straw or individually using less plastic. I'm talking about big changes, the overall reduction in fossil fuel usage around the world, widespread improved energy efficiency that is required to help us back off this cliff of impending disaster, a disaster which we face as a human race. Beyond politics, religion, or the country that you were born in, I feel like we all need to be considering what is at stake right now. Not in two years time, not in five years time, but right now. Lately it seems like Mother Nature has been sending us messages from all the trash we've been seeing on these ultra remote tropical islands, to these incredibly rare endangered species that keep popping their heads up right on our front door. As if to remind us of what a fragile paradise we do live in here and that there is still hope. I guess that's why we're making this video right now. It's not meant to be a massive climate change rant, but because we wholeheartedly believe that the future of our coral reefs, our ocean and our planet, it's in our hands. We want others to experience the coral reef the way that we see it today. So join us as we scuba dive to the bottom of a deep water channel and at the end of this dive witness an incredible octopus mating ritual. Learning to scuba dive and being able to visit locations like ours, where conservation is intertwined into everything that we do, it will make a difference. It will make a difference because once you experience something for yourself, you become more invested, motivated to protect it. And the world needs a little more of that right now. I needed this dive to remind me of what we should be fighting for and what we should be speaking up about.
Although this is a marine protected area and one of the few coral reefs in the Solomon Islands which is actually patrolled to prevent fishing, we still occasionally see corals entangled with fishing line. The truth is, the healthy fish stocks that we see on our reef are not observed elsewhere in the country due to intense commercial fishing pressures. This is catastrophic for the local people who depend on their marine resources for survival. Just because our coral reef looks healthy does not mean that we are immune to the impacts of the climate crisis or external pressures such as fishing. In fact, it feels like maybe we have more to lose than anyone and that scares the crap out of us. The reef here has been protected by my family for over 35 years and it shows. Right here on our doorstep we can scuba dive and witness some of the most fragile marine habitats. Incredible breeding rituals that most people will only ever see in a documentary. What's coming up now is truly remarkable. It doesn't happen often. We were so excited to be able to witness it and now share it with you guys. We really just want to get people out underwater and enjoying this incredible environment. If you're one of those people who has always wanted to learn to scuba dive, we hope that you take this as your cue to get out and do it before it is too late. Because right now the world needs more people underwater seeing what we see, appreciating it and fighting for it.